So basically, I am a physicist, a philosopher. Значит, он background по физике по философии. And I am also a Catholic priest. Он также католический священник. And uh, I did my doctorate on quantum mechanics in the faculty of philosophy. Свою диссертацию написал докторскую диссертацию в Бельгии interpretations of uh, quantum mechanics, that is of the Copenhagen mechanics. Interpretation of quantum mechanics. And uh, also of uh, David Bohm. He has given a different ontological interpretation, which is also known as a, a hidden variable uh, uh, interpretation, which became into prominence from the 90s onwards. There were many uh, from 90 in the 90, 90, 1990 onwards, it became more popular. Maybe even earlier. So uh, that is my basic uh, frame for uh, that. I have also interacted with uh, some of the founders of quantum mechanics, like uh, uh, Niels Bohr, San Obor, and uh, the, the, the son-in-law of uh, Heisenberg, Friedrich von Weizsäcker, who was the, uh, the Max Planck uh, Munich uh, director, a uh, philosopher, a physicist, yeah, uh, in, in, in Munich. So, yeah, I see uh, basically uh, quantum mechanics as the foundational uh, theory for uh, the, uh, the universe. Он считает, что квантовая механика это основа для понимания Вселенной. And I connect it with the other uh, philosophical traditions. И uh, он пытается связать это с другими философскими традициями. Yeah. So I was teaching at Christ University, physics, philosophy, он science, and religion. Он преподавал в Христианском университете в Болгаворе физику, философию, науку и религию. But for the past two years, I am the director of an ecumenical center. За последние два года он работал so that doesn't mean that it is a kind of a Christian institution. Yeah, I continue to teach. And also, um, uh, this is a venue center where we organize conferences and workshops. And uh, August 22nd to 24th, we have uh, another conference on artificial intelligence and its impact on um, the society. Professors from uh, Oxford and other places, they are all coming. I can send, uh, maybe if uh, somebody is interested, but it is too short, you could, you could come. And in um, uh, November, there is another science and religion conference from the Cambridge University Faraday Institute. And also in January, we have uh, on climate change and religion. Yeah, so maybe uh, yeah, this institute can also, uh, we can have a collaboration. Yeah, initially maybe a webinar or a kind of a seminar through the Skype. And then uh, you can come to uh, India as I come to your place. Yes, I can open yourself uh, to various religious traditions. You know, India is uh, known for, you know, all the different religious traditions. We have uh, Hinduism. We have uh, uh, Buddhism. Buddhism. Jainism. Jain, Jainism, another. Yes. Then uh, we also uh, Sikhism, which is uh, the 16th century. It's a fusion between Islam and Hinduism. Fusion between Islam and Hinduism. And then uh, we also have uh, um, the Jewish uh, religion, and uh, Christianity, Islam, which also, and then also the Parsi, Zoroastrian religion. So it is a cradle of religions as well as the religions came from. So if anybody is interested in religious traditions, spiritual, uh, uh, depth, and uh, definitely I can uh, um, uh, help you, or you know, we can come, we can do research, I can uh, uh, relate to you the the uh, the scholars as well as the spiritual uh, leaders. So that would be one point of uh, interaction.
And then, the and then we can also see what are the other possibilities, maybe organizing conferences. Yeah, so I am also interacting with the various religious traditions. I am closely associated with uh, His Holiness uh, Dalai Lama. So uh, I don't know whether it is visible. <laughs> it might be yes. So there was a conference organized by the uh, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University, <laughs> the Dalai Lama's uh, 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 foundation in Delhi, and uh, His Holiness is chairing, and I was presenting a, a, a on on the president of the Dalai Lama and on quantum mechanics and Mahatmya Buddhism. Buddhism It's a philosophical school. It ah, might be a, 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 a Yeah, so normally uh, we are listening to Dalai Lama, but uh, uh, that day, uh, he was listening to me for almost an hour. So I'm not uh, uh, making uh, myself about, uh, you know. So, and I teach the Buddhist monks. I have uh, more disciples in their, uh, some of their You teach universities. the Buddhist monks? Yes. Wow. Yes. On preparation uh, Buddhist monastery. So I teach them uh, physics, physical, and the Western philosophy. So, so therefore, uh, we ha I have close association with not only uh, the Buddhist tradition but also the various uh, other religious uh, traditions. That is why I said that. Yeah. So we can, yeah, we can uh, closely associate uh, with our two institutions. Now the cities were united. Maybe uh, I thought that uh, I could be a catalyst in bringing. Uh, these two cities through uh, bridging these institutions and then uh, maybe, yeah, welcome to uh, to Bangalore and uh, thank you Andre once again for this wonderful uh, introduction. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, next one please. Yeah, so um, now uh, I will uh, go to what is the, the, the presentation that is about the the science and philosophy of uh, the, the Buddhism, that is the general okay. title. Philosophy of Buddhism. And um, what we see in the beginning uh, is that a kind of an introduction is Sorry. It's okay. Yes, continue. Huh? Okay. Yeah, so uh, so if you want to uh, ask me in between, it is possible yes, that you can uh, uh, process of that. Or no, no, same. Yeah, so uh, any questions or clarifications, you know? Um, or uh, maybe at the, at the end. So whatever, you, if you are immediate, uh, anything to understand, so that then uh, you can just uh, abrupt me. Можно прерывать любое время здесь вопрос или что-то пояснить надо. So in the um, uh, Western tradition, as well as in the Eastern tradition, we will see a kind of a a reductionistic approach because they have seen the whole so universe. Is and then is there any kind of a connectivity or a comprehension they can make? And then we see in the Greek tradition uh, the pre Socratic philosophers, you know, we have Thales, M. Douglas, and many others. Uh, they were uh, speaking in terms of, you know, uh, the uh, ultimate stuff. Они, значит, рассуждали в терминах последней, последнего, последней субстанции. Yeah, so in the ultimate stuff they were speaking about water, fire, air, Вода, огонь, earth, воздух. And then uh, they were also introducing some structural principles. И они вели также некоторые структурные принципы. So how uh, this could be combined together to give the uh, the plurality of this universe? Каким можно каким образом это можно комбинировать, чтобы объяснить uh, 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 многообразие мира? Multiplicity. Многообразный. So, so in the same tradition in the Indian, you might be aware that you know we have uh, different, uh, schools who are also saying that you know there are different kinds of uh, subject uh, objects uh, or there are different stuff, like uh, uh, Akash, and then, uh, various other uh, exactly almost the, the same way in the Western tradition. We, we, and, and then we ultimately see that uh, the Democritus who spoke about. Uh, the uh, the atomic uh, theory. Yeah, and uh, we have in Indian tradition, Kanada, 
французской традиции есть философ Канада, который тоже развивал атомистическую традицию. Uh, experiential and imaginative, then there is an uh, abstract mathematical, mm-hmm. and then there is a metaphysical, three different uh, forms of thought. Uh, thought, yeah? Thought, huh? thought, thought, so, thought, so, so, so. Yeah, thinking. Значит, три разных вида мышления. Значит, в обоих традициях это три уровня. Это воображение, imaginative, imaginative and experiential, опытное, опытное, далее. And then abstract mathematical, abstract математическое это второй уровень как бы мышления. And the and the and the metaphysical, metaphysical. Значит на уровне чувств, дальше интеллект и э, абстрактно математическое и метафизическое. Значит, вот три уровня есть в обоих традициях. And then uh, we also see that you know Democritus, uh, uh, they spoke about a kind of uh, an uh, uh, abstract and mathematical. Democritus. Democritus. Говорил о нечто вроде абстрактного математического. Mathematical. And then we have Parmenides. Parmenides. Who spoke about the permanence. Parmenides говорил о не о постоянном. And the Heraclitus who spoke about uh, the flux, the change. И Гераклит о изменчивом. So this is uh, the, the three processes of thought we find in the very beginning of uh, process of processes, которые мы находим с самого начала в обоих традициях. So we see that uh, Socrates, and then uh, we have Plato, and uh, so Aristotle. They were trying to. Потом был Платон, потом Аристотель. Yes. But uh, Aristotle, uh, who brought uh, these different processes into a single comprehensive Aristotle uh, соединил эти три различных процесса в единый comprehension. Uh, uh, Ex- all of these processes into uh, an explanatory comprehension. Um, он, uh, Uh, он объединил все эти три процесса и uh, объяснил. Yeah, so uh, I am sure that since you are in the philosophy faculty, you will be aware, but I am not oh, going to explain further about uh, it. So we have uh, the substance and accidents. Substance, accidents, existence, сущность, существование, uh, act and potency, действие и потенция, and matter and form. Материя и форма. So uh, essence. Substance, uh, act, substance, and uh, 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 form, form. Uh, they don't change. Они не изменяются. Yeah, and then all the others, uh, you could see that you know they are changing. И все остальное меняется. Yeah, for Plato, uh, the change is taking place in the earth. The terrestrial. Для Платона то, что меняется, относится к земному. And in the uh, uh, world of ideas, everything is perfect. А в мире идей все совершенно и не изменчиво. But Aristotle brought all of them, saying that you know there is change and permanence here. Aristotle это совместил и сказал, что здесь и теперь есть и изменчивость и постоянство. And then he brought also the four causes. That is the the material cause, the efficient cause, efficient cause, and then the formal formal cause and the final cause. So we could see that you know Aristotle has brought into a holistic account of this universe. And then he brought that you know the final cause as something very important. So that is the purposiveness. Yeah, so it is more of a uh, teleological. And then uh, he brought, uh, he was from uh, biology rather than from physics. 
это скорее, значит, имеет свое происхождение биологическое, чем философия организма все понимается с холистической точки зрения. So uh, we see that uh, Aristotle in his physics trying to explain uh, the geostatic and um, um, physics, Aristotle pretends to explain the geostatic and the geocentric universe. Ah, ah, no, oh, so his uh, uh, physics He found that you know it cannot explain the dynamics of this universe. No, в рамках его физики он не может объяснить динамику этой вселенной. So he uh, wrote uh, metaphysics. Поэтому он вел метафизику. So you can see that you know the the physics or the sciences cannot simply explain the dynamics of this universe. Физика и наука они не могут просто объяснить динамику этой вселенной. Yeah, so therefore he brought something uh, which is beyond. So what he says is that you know. Uh, what is metaphysics? Что, по физики, yeah, he spoke about uh, three things. Uncaused cause. And, uh, be, uh, значит, uh, be, без причины причины. Unmoved mover. Не, значит, недвижимой движимости, то есть то, что они самой. Неподвижной движимости. Неподвижной движимости. And then the pure act. И чистого акта. Ah, so uh, that is the way. So they need to transcend from physics to metaphysics. Значит, он нуждался в том, чтобы перейти от физики к метафизике. So then only we can have a comprehensive dynamics of this universe. В этом случае мы можем понять динамику вселенной. Ah, so we can also see that in the east also he is explaining in the same way. И мы можем увидеть, что на востоке примерно так же объясняют. So in Hinduism we have the dharma. В хиндуизме у них есть да дхарма. So in this dharma, what is explaining about that, you know, the 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 rhythm of the universe and then how the value system of the the human being and that is kind of a foundation for the dynamics of human life. Это нечто, что играет роль основания в объяснении всего, что происходит во вселенной. And then we see that you know Buddhism came as a renaissance to the the Hinduism. And there they speak about Abhi Dharma. And then they put it. It's not a Hindu notion. No, it is a Buddhist. From Buddhism. And then they put the Buddhist concept of Abhi Dharma. Abhi Abhi Dharma. It is like you know metaphysics. Это нечто вроде метафизики. So we have physics and metaphysics. Мы показываем не тоже есть физика и метафизика. So we have Dharma and Abhi Dharma. Dharma and Abhi Dharma. So we see that you have holistic account. In the east and the west. Это холистический подход, как и на востоке, и на западе. Yeah. So then, in the western, especially the 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 we see that you know, yeah, Aristotle's philosophy was taken into theology by Aquinas from the 13th century. Дальше аристотельская философия была, значит, принята Томас Аквин, да? Да, Томас Аквин. And then he identified this uncaused cause, unmoved mover, and the pure act into logos. И эти беспричинную причину недвижимость движимости чистый акт он отнес к логос. So it is a kind of integrating physics. Metaphysics and the divine or the theology. Integrating physics and metaphysics is important. So to give more kind of a philosophical, theological interpretation to the human life. И он таким образом дал более такую философскую и теологическую интерпретацию его человеческой жизни. Yeah, could you please the the next one? Следующий. Yeah. So then, what happened in the the scholasticism, which is known as the the Thomistic philosophy and theology, it became a kind of philosophy, theology, Thomistic, and it was a scholastic. Decadence, and they were speaking about the angels, and then how many angels can be dancing on one set of angels? Yeah. So that it became a decadent, and then we see that you know, Descartes. 
the uh, Descartes is coming and he is uh, uh, questioning uh, the, the scholasticism and then bringing out doubt as the basic foundation. Descartes. Значит, он засомневался mind is given more importance to than the, uh, the body. So we have uh, uh, res cogitans and res extensa, the extended body and also the thinking body. And he has given... Yeah, so what happens, uh, there is a kind of, you know, giving uh, kind of division. So that became the foundation for the, the science and which we, yeah, so we see that uh, the uh, this atomistic tradition was taken again uh, by Copernicus, Galileo, Kepler and Newton. Yes, uh, but uh, Copernicus uh, not very far away from here in uh, Poland. So he was looking up into the sky and uh, for him uh, encountering the universe and uh, understanding the universe is a kind of a mystical experience of God. It is also the same case with uh, uh, Galileo. So Copernicus brought uh, this the sun standard system, uh, which was later uh, given more prominence by Galileo, the sun standard system, the meaning, the, the, the sun, that is heliocentrism. Ah, okay. Значит, Коперник ввел геоцентрическую систему. Yeah, so, and then um, uh, Galileo, uh, he brought that, you know, a methodology for science, that you know the uh, the mathematics as the foundation for physics and uh, it is uh, through yeah, mathematics yeah, that you know yeah, we can yeah, unlock uh, the mysteries of this universe yeah, so he was also uh, such a spiritual uh, fellow and then we see kepler and newton and kepler's three laws of uh, uh, the planetary laws and uh, uh, three uh, motions, uh, laws of motion and the law of gravity, which explains the, the physical dynamics of the, uh, of the, the universe. So, yeah, so we have the classical physics, and this classical physics is in a way of explaining uh, about the universe and uh, as an ultimate uh, explanation uh, till the beginning of the 20th century. So we can also see that, you know, I have not included there, we also see that uh, Laplace, uh, who was a philosopher, physicist, he wrote a book where uh, when asked Napoleon uh, to release the book, he said that, Monsieur uh, Laplace, there is no uh, word God. And then uh, Laplace was saying that, I don't need that hypothesis in order to explain. Uh, yeah. So, so we see that this is the, the beginning uh, of the, 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 the process of atomism and the reductionism, which is explaining the about the, the, the And then uh, it has gone into uh, such a, a processes that, you know, doubting uh, the creator or, you know, a kind of a divide was, uh, initiated by uh, the Aristotle as well as um, uh, creature initiated by uh, yeah, Aristotle and uh, um, this um, uh, Aquinas creation. No, 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 creation. Doubting the creation. The creation. Yes. Creation. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It was uh, later uh, doubted. You know, Aristotle and Aquinas brought together uh, 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 this as a creator as the 
the foundation and then uh, we have we see that you know so we have this uh, mechanistic explanation everything can be explained as a machine Физическое объяснение, все может быть объяснено как машина. Everything is determined. Все, есть определенный детерминизм. And then uh, we have this uh, exploitation, domination of this universe, and then it's a kind of... Uh, Эксплуатация этого uh, мира, доминирование. Abusing and uh, misusing, uh, and overusing the universe, creating to a kind of an ecological crisis. И в результате экологическая катастрофа, нечто вроде экологической катастрофы. So we also see that, you know, uh, uh, the the quantum mechanical tradition uh, uh, we have the the, the Planck, uh, so we see that instead of the deterministic they are bringing out what is the uh, indeterministic yeah so that is you know we are unable to explain uh, about the universe control the universe uh, because you know it is uh, uncontrolled. We, uh, we are unable to explain uh, and control. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. Un, uh, control and uh, know the universe in its fullness. And no? And no, K N O W, know the universe in its fullness. Мы не можем объяснить, не можем контролировать в рамках индетерминизма. По крайней мере, не все можем контролировать. Though it is there, we also see that there is another extreme trend brought by Hawking. Dawkins. Есть другой, другой, другой крайнее направление, которое ассоциировано с именами Хокинга. Yeah, so they, they were bringing us a kind of a scientism, and this scientism is trying to eliminate all other uh, metaphysical and spiritual dimensions. устранить всю метафизику. You might be aware about the, the books, uh, books, you know, the God Delusion. Вы, наверное, знаете книгу Бог как иллюзия. Yeah, so the, the, those books which were propagating that, you know, that uh, religion uh, is uh, extinct and it should be uh, replaced это, by, это uh, by, by, uh, by science. И, we also see that in the in our tradition uh, we have a great masters of suspicion continuing the tradition uh, of uh, uh, that is we have uh, the Nietzsche, Marx and Freud. Well, Nietzsche, Marx and Freud yeah. So yeah, I don't need to speak much more about uh, the <laughs> like, you know, uh, kind of selling uh, steel in uh, Newcastle. So Nietzsche was, uh, you know, the death of God and then the slavish morality and then uh, the and then uh, the march was reducing everything into matter, material uh, and then Marx material. The, and also the class struggle and everything and then Freud was explaining uh, more uh, uh, about you know the mind and the, the behavior, everything just in terms of uh, libido and the sexual Yeah, so yeah, so this became a kind of you know a, a scientism and then uh, reducing everything into uh, kind of matter and uh, uh, science, science so, uh, so next one please. So we see that you know uh, a crisis in the European situation which was brought out by the, great, uh, uh, the, the philosopher uh, Husserl. Husserl in 1930 wrote this, you know, the crisis in the European uh, situation. Yeah, so... 1930. 1930. Yeah, 1930, that was the, the, when he was... And then he also spoke about... You know what is the exact meaning of techne, which was uh, later taken up by uh, Heidegger. That you know. Exact meaning of techne, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is the meaning of techne? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
именно наука выступает против рассчитывать а Хайдигер, он э, выступал за медитацию, Феноменологи, такие как технологические And uh, we see that you know there is no other. It is only uh, this part. So, from the point of view of science and technology, there is no other. So, um, so as um, uh, Husserl was uh, saying that you know a kind of a crisis in the in the culture, crisis in the. So how there the, 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 и были другие э, мыслители, которые попытались дать холистический э, холистическое понимание. Yeah, so there are two important uh, people named David Bohm and uh, Teilhard de Chardin. Yeah, Both of them are uh, scientists. Yeah, so this, yeah, this David Bohm, uh, he uh, was a physicist and uh, he was uh, a kind of a protege of Einstein and then uh, protege of Einstein. Эйнштейн-протежен. And also bomb uh, Cherango radiation. This is also the effect of the bomb, and the iron bomb effect, and and uh, bomb Cherango radiations. Ah, uh, and the radiation bomb of Cherango. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th there are other contributions. He gave uh, a new interpretations to quantum mechanics. Он предложил новую интерпретацию. Квантом основанную на uh, том, что он называет квантовым потенциалом. Yeah, so what uh, we can say that you know, you know, uh, those who have studied uh, physics or uh, uh, basically you will see that you know there is a solenoid. Uh, значит, те, кто изучал физику, они знают, что если yeah, so solenoid, in, that solenoid, uh, you will see that you know the, uh, the electricity wire is wound and uh, You know the uh, electricity will not be uh, outside of uh, the, 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 the solenoid. Electrical pole is not. Only inside. So some um, light is going uh, uh, near to it. You will see that you know it is split into uh, different. Uh, so this. Uh, if you want to get to the light, uh, light, 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 light beam. Light beam, световой. Если теперь вот взять соленоид и пропустить, пустить световой кучу, то so from there he later he discovered uh, this you know bomb uh, Ahrono or bomb Arnov effect that there is something known as quantum potential. Короче, хотя нет электромагнитного поля, такое возникает эффект, как если бы что-то воздействовало на этот световой пучок, ну или пучок yeah, частиц. So this... То есть, хотя видимые причины не существуют, есть только mm -hmm. этот соленоид, внутри есть поле, вне поля нет. Но тем не менее, воздействие на пучок, который идет вне соленоида, имеется. И вопрос, yeah. каким образом это происходит. Квантом потенциал. Я ввел понятие квантового потенциала. Но есть другие объяснения. Есть объяснение топологическое, что просто другая топология yeah. пространства. Есть еще одно объяснение, что электромагнитный потенциал, он имеет физическую природу. Он отличный от поля, хотя поле равно ему.
Но вот Бом объяснял это при помощи квантового потенциала. Yeah, yeah. So this quantum potential has become the foundation for his new interpretation of quantum mechanics. Вот это понятие квантового потенциала, которое Денис Платин, оно стало основой для его новой интерпретации квантовой механики. In a wider philosophical interpretation, known as более того, он этому придал философский смысл. Implicate and explicate order. Он ввел такие понятия, как имплицитный и эксплицитный порядок. So according to Bohm, uh, this duality of the uh, particle and the wave, uh, it is not so very well uh, given by uh, Niels Bohr uh, in his Which is interpretation. So therefore he has given uh, an interpretation that quantum potential is something uh, is guiding the particle and the particle so is following it. So this he gave us a kind of a, um, uh, the, the foundation for his new implicate explicate order. So uh, there is uh, uh, the whole universe is in the explicate order and then uh, yeah, so, uh, the, the, yeah, yeah. so the, everything is in the implicate and it is explicated, the physical universe the animal life and the human And then uh, this kind of movement, he calls it as a kind of a hollow movement. И вот это вот нечто вроде движения, он ввел новый термин голод движения. Yeah, so this follow movement is something uh, he explains uh, through that, you know, even in the small portion, hologram, you might be aware. Ну, у него есть разные аналогии, например, аналогия голограммы. Там небольшая часть голограммы. Uh... Yeah, so yeah, even a very, very small portion, you could find the whole. В очень маленькой э, частичке голограммы вы можете найти, значит, весь трехмерный объем. So uh, he uh, he is giving uh, further explanations uh, in terms of uh, various other uh, things like you know the infinite uh, dim uh, dimensional fish tank and then. Были другие аналогии, другие объяснения, например, yeah, so, uh, бесконечно uh, fish uh, yeah, fish tank. So if you want, you know, I can, uh, yeah, from uh, press you can get the, uh, my paper, yeah. so it, it uh, gives you further explanations yeah, that. Uh, that. Uh, so in the statue that we have published, it is an um, so uh, he was uh, giving uh, an explanation about a holistic account in terms of quantum mechanics. And then uh, we have uh, another uh, uh, Teilhard de Chardin, a French uh, paleontologist, uh, who in terms of uh, biology, evolutionary biology, he also bringing into the dimension of uh, the spiritual dimension, the rational, uh, and, the social, and uh, he explains about, you know, from omega, how it reaches to, uh, so from alpha, how it reaches to the omega, how Каким we, образом с альфа до омега э, происходит это развитие? Эволюционное даже в материи, а сознание латентно в жизни. То есть есть такой непрерывный процесс от альфа до омега. А омега и омега это значит еще более высокий уровень уже над сознанием суперсознания. Эволюционное такое объяснение. Да, so not only the the physical, but also the the psychical, the mental, the spiritual. So everything he brings together into a kind of a, a continuum. Да, он не все это вместе объединенный такой подход, что нечто вроде такого континуума, физическое, биологическое сознание и так далее. 
So maybe uh, uh, there is also another uh, important Indian philosopher, uh, perhaps you, you might be he aware of that, you know, the uh, Arabindo, he was a revolutionary Arabindo, the and uh, he was into a mystical tradition and uh, he was also influenced by the evolutionary theory. And, uh, he, and he was speaking about you know the descent of the divine and he also was talking about the божественness of the divine the involution and the ascent of uh, the the, uh, the life that uh, is жизнь evolution evolution uh, yeah, so evolution and the evolution and uh, that is uh, uh, together uh, run together in the kind of meeting place in the human being Встречаются в человеческом бытии, да. And they can also be into a kind of a, uh, a super uh, consciousness by integrating this involution and evolution. Интеграция, эволюция uh, и uh, эволюция тоже может возникнуть нечто вроде суперсознания. So uh, we can see that you know this uh, matter, life and mind, there is a gap between. Между материей, жизнью и сознанием имеется нечто вроде провала. So it is our call or it is our vocation uh, to bring them together. Наше назначение устранить эти провалы. To fill up the gaps. За закрыть эти провалы. So uh, this is uh, our call and also uh, this holistic our, our goal, account, our, our, our goal and, and, our, and our call. And our call, призвание. Yeah, yes, our call, okay. CLL. Uh, so our, our call. So um, science and technology needs the other. Наука и технологии нуждаются в чем-то другом. So we need to have uh, the values, the, the humanities. So it cannot be steamrolling mere science and technology as Dawkins and uh, um, Hawking uh, is explaining. Hawking and Dawkins, они все объясняют сайтистски. It is a kind of a, a complementary approach. We need. Uh, uh, нам to нужен дополнительный подход. Нечто кроме науки и технологий. So uh, therefore, uh, this is what I want to explain to you that you know the, the, the there is a, a physics, there is a rational account. There is also a philosophical account, so we yes, need to have. Yes, there is a rational approach, but there is also a philosophical approach. Yeah, so we need to have a rational. Uh, philosophical account is not rational. Philosophical is rational. Yeah. So you, you, you say that there is physics rational account, there is philosophy. Yeah. So <laughs> okay, but uh, typically, you know, physics or science is said to be the, the most rational, and the, the philosophical is also a very critical uh, approach. Um, uh, so th these all accounts together uh, is in a way of uh, uh, giving a totality uh, of the, this dynamics. Значит, ну, нам нужно э, совместить э, науку и философию, чтобы понять э, 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 целостность, э, динамику ее целостности. And also we need to have, you know, a kind of an east-west bridging. И также установить мост между востоком и западом. So by uh, comprehension and complementary way we can uh, research together and uh, give contributions to the Дополняя друг друга. I am grateful to you uh, for listening to me and uh, yes, thank you uh, François for uh, translating and then um, I think uh, that maybe sometime we can utilize for uh, discussion. Yeah, if you have uh, observations, comments, uh, criticisms uh, are most welcome. And uh, I also thank you, Pasiba, for your uh, patient uh, listening. <laughs> uh, so thank you.